Simon, welcome to the Michelin Le Mans Cup. Like many bronze drivers on the Michelin Le Mans grid, you have a day job. I think yours is pretty unique. Can you tell us a bit about your day job? Uh, yeah, sure. So I think it is, it's fairly unusual. Um, so I'm a vicar in the Church of England. I look after a group of 12 rural parishes in North East Hampshire, um, so part of the Diocese of Winchester. And I've been a vicar for, this is my 17th year, actually. So I've been in, in parish ministry for quite a while. So you have a lot of fans within your congregations? Well, fans, that's, a, that's an interesting word, is it? Yeah, I think, no, I think generally people uh, enjoy the fact that, that I have a slightly unusual kind of alter ego. Um, there's a lot of guys in my parish in particular who, who are really into cars. So, yeah, it's something we, we do enjoy together and across the parishes. Can you tell us a bit about your racing background um, and how you um, sort of balance that with your commitments as a Church of England vicar? Yeah, um, so I've raced mainly historics. Um, the last 15 years or so have all been in historic cars. So it's quite an interesting transition from cross-ply treaded tyres and cars that want to take off the faster you go to, to cars that stick um, and, and use aero properly. Um, so, so it's a, definitely a jump into, into the P3. Um, Balancing it with church work, uh, historic-wise, a lot of the races are Saturdays, which is really convenient. Um, I, I call that divine providence. Um, but um, for, for the Le Mans Cup, um, I'm on a sabbatical. So clergy are very lucky. We get three months off every seven years. And my bishop has very kindly allowed me to take it in chunks of a week so I can take off a week at a time to come racing, which is great. That's great, you know. So why did you choose to come to Michelin Le Mans Cup, you know, with RLR? So uh, Martin Rich, who's been running with RLR for, I guess, about five seasons, um, is a very close friend of mine, and we race historics together. So it, it was mainly Martin's fault, actually. Um, so he's been on with me for years, so that you've got to try a P3. Come and, come and do Le Mans Cup. Um, and, and RLR, I got to know the guys a bit through Martin, and they're, they're really good at their job, but they're also a really nice bunch. And I think when racing is... For fun, it's not my career. You want to do it with people that you like and people that you trust and people that you respect, don't you? You spent some time with the team. Um, this is your first race with them here at Monza, but you spent some time with the team at Le Mans and, uh, and Le Castellet. So how did you get, how has that been to help you with your racing this weekend? Well, I think it's sort of, if, if you know the format for the race weekend, it's one thing off your mind, isn't it? If you, if you sort of know where you need to be and what you need to be doing and how the race weekend works, you, you, you can put that to one side and then really concentrate on the, on the driving. And so I've, I've had very limited testing. I think I've had an hour in the car before coming to Monza. I've never been to Monza before. Um, so, so my focus has just been getting comfortable in the car, getting to know the circuit um, and <clears throat> just sort of, yeah, getting to grips with everything that's going on. So bearing that in mind, what are your expectations for this weekend in Monza and for the rest of the season? Um, I think I've tried to have very little expectation. So, so I think this race really for me is almost like extended testing. And it's about getting comfortable in the car and beginning to trust the car and learning how to drive this particular sort of car in the way that it needs to be driven to go fast. So if I'm sat at the back of the grid, I don't mind. That's okay. If I'm not at the back of the grid, then that's a bonus and that's great. But this is the, the, the first event and we'll build on that. And I guess, you know, after three or four races, I hope we'll be pushing the midfield. We'll have to see. Obviously, after this race, we go to Spa and then we go to Portimao. Spa, I assume you have raced there before. And, uh, Many times, yes. Yeah, so yeah. you know that circuit quite yes, well. Yeah. What are your thoughts on taking this car to that sort of circuit? I think it's been an amazing mix of... of absolutely breathtakingly fast and probably a little bit scary um so but i think the nice thing with the p3s is they they're, they're not out to get you are they they're they're actually quite nice cars to drive they're hard i think to make go really fast but but you can drive them at a reasonable pace quite easily so so i'm not too worried i you know i have a bit of an advantage it's fine i know it well so yeah it'll be, it'll be good fun